Well, the first U.S. soldiers have deployed to Europe from Fort Bragg in North Carolina. It's part of the 3,000 American troops being mobilized to bolster NATO's eastern flank in the standoff with Russia over Ukraine. Our Stephanie Ramos traveled to that northern border to just see how Ukrainian residents there are assessing the threat of a potential invasion right now. We're in Ukraine, driving four hours north from the capital city of Kiev to Klusy. This paved highway provides a straight shot to the small border village we're going to. It's eerily quiet here. The snow-covered roads, largely empty. There are few people and even fewer signs of preparation for a potential war. While much of the attention in Ukraine has been focused on its eastern border, here in the north, you would never guess that just a few miles away, Russia has amassed tanks, artillery, and troops ready at a moment's notice for a possible invasion. Russia's just right over there, over that fence. We're trying to find someone to talk to in this small village. Oh, there's a soldier over there. He said to shoot camera. To stop the camera. Yeah. Stop, yeah. We see one Ukrainian soldier who didn't want to be filmed. At this border checkpoint, there are no heavy weapons. These border guards are on edge because of that potential Russian threat. In the last few months, the Kremlin has steadily amassed tens of thousands of troops and heavy weapons. The White House now warning of a full-scale invasion. Although here, in the border villages north of Kiev, the residents we did meet didn't seem worried about their Russian neighbors. You guys live here, very close to the Russian border. How do you feel about the tensions that have been going on for the last couple of months? Everything's normal, these locals tell us. We don't feel anything at all. They don't believe there will be war. If Russia invades, this village would be one of the fastest frontiers to Ukraine's capital. And the unguarded northern border is cause for concern. There is very little activity here, but just about 100 yards north of here, that's where Russian military forces are positioned just beyond a fence. They're there. They're to the northwest in Belarus. They're to the northeast, to the east, to the south in Crimea, basically surrounding Ukraine. Russia beefing up its presence on Ukraine's northern border, sending 5,000 troops to Belarus. Joint military exercises with Belarusian and Russian troops are expected in the coming days. So now watch your invade. And for those on the border, keeping calm is a coping mechanism as the waiting game continues. What's this war for? It's not needed. Russians are the same people we are.